Hey everyone, today is one of the most exciting days of my life. Um, YouTube just sent me the uh, silver play button. Uh, and it's kind, of, it's kind of crazy to think about it. It's right here. Um, I'm very nervous to be honest. <laughs> uh, but it, it's just like, I've spent almost three years uh, working on this earthquake simulation channel and I just never thought that there would be such a huge audience interested in, in, in this kind of stuff. So um, you made it all happen. It, I, I, yeah, I've put the work, but you made it all happen. This over here is all thanks to you. <laughs> so I'm opening this for you, not for myself. <laughs> Hope the camera is still working. <laughs> I don't want to redo this video. I can't even redo it. All right. <laughs> well, now I'm trying to open this and now I'm thinking like, is, is it legal to show a knife on YouTube? <laughs> All right. I honestly don't want to break this box. I mean, like I want to keep it as a souvenir. Come on, when, when is the last time I opened a box? <laughs> I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited more and more. Wait. Ah. <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere. I can't believe this. Once I take this off, I'll see it. <laughs> ah, all right, it's, it's not it yet. Uh, there's a letter <laughs> from YouTube, I guess, and a business card. Okay, let's, let's read. So there's uh, a little uh, thank you note, I guess, um, which says, Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. Thank you, Rick, in case you're seeing this. Um, okay, uh, and then there's a letter from YouTube saying, um, do you remember your first subscriber? Um, Yes, <laughs> it was my mom probably. Uh, you're a hundredth, yes, or you're a thousandth sub subscriber. Chances are you do, and we know that you'll definitely remember you're a hundred thousandth subscriber. Your fans may have found your you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built. We're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. We know, that you have may, um, we know that you have many more stories to share with your community, and we know your fans can't wait for you to amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you'll do next, and we're here to support you along the way. And who knows? When you reach your millionth subscriber, we may just write to you and ask, do you remember your 100,000th subscriber? <laughs> you are sincerely, Neil Mohan, YouTube CEO. So this is the letter and... <laughs> is there a plastic wrap? <laughs> there is. Oh my God, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Okay, it's way, way smaller than I thought. Um, wow, this is, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless, let, let me take it out of the box. I mean, out of the plastic wrap. Uh, it has a really nice back. There it is. I hope the camera is focusing on this and not on my face. 
but yeah, once again, I really, really want to thank to each one of you for like all the comments you've written on my channel and all the support you've given me. Um, it's been just such a lonely journey sometimes, uh, especially the first year because like I was just posting so many videos and you know, like spending all these thousands of hours in front of my computers, building the models and simulating and then you know, like the whole process, sometimes I get so angry and I'm like, oh, why isn't this working? And other times, you know, like when I publish the final version of the video, I feel like, wow, you know, this is going to be useful and somebody's going to be thankful for, for seeing this. Um, but yeah, um, what's next? Um, I'm not sure how many of you know, but I've been trained as a classical pianist. I've been um, studying uh, classical piano for like my entire life. Uh, I mean, there's my little baby grand piano here. Um, so, you know, I've just put so much stuff into um, music, you know, like tried to be a really, really good musician, uh, went for school for it. And um, after graduating, you know, I thought that I don't really want to work as a professor. I don't want to teach. I don't really want to perform anymore. Um, and so I started this uh, YouTube channel. I know it's kind of confusing, right? So I started um, my first ever YouTube channel was my piano channel. So I've spent, th this was five years ago, by the way. Um, and I've spent so much time. Um, I've been so dedicated to, de to, to that channel, recording piano covers and whatnot, uh, hoping that, you know, one day um, you know, maybe that channel will grow a lot and I could be earning some income. Um, but I really thought that all the work that I've put didn't really pay off. And so um, at one point I, you know, I was on YouTube and I, I think there was one video that was recommended uh, to me and I clicked on it. It was basically a simulation of um, a building collapsing and uh, this channel belonged to Kai Kostak, which by the way, I'll put a, a description in the link below. And so after I discovered his channel, I thought, I really want to try this. Um, I want to create earthquake simulations, you know, not just uh, buildings uh, collapsing because of, I don't know, uh, various other reasons. Um, and this is where I'm at. It's just like, this has become my career right now. I am doing this full time. I still play the piano once in a while, but um, I've like th this thing over here, like this makes me happier than my college degree. <laughs> um, because you know, when you're in college, it's like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to take that class. I don't like those classmates. I don't like that or that or that. Um, but. This channel, Earthquake Sim, has been just so, um, it's been, it, it just provided so many vitamins for the soul, you know? Like, I just felt so enthusiastic about it since day one. Um, and especially because I thought, oh, nobody else is doing this, this kind of thing online. Um, you know, I've, I've always had this curiosity, like, since I was little, you know, like, what would happen to, uh, my house if there was an earthquake or what would happen to my school or what would happen to a skyscraper um, and fun fact you know I've you know I've, I've felt my first earthquake when I was uh, eight years old I was back in Romania and then while feeling the earthquake you know my mom was next to me and I, I was thinking is the whole building shaking wait is is the whole city shaking the whole country what, what's shaking <laughs> uh that you know that, that thing you know feeling my first earthquake was just so 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 impactful i you know my mind was just wow you know there's so much energy that goes into these um events and um i would say maybe not right afterwards but like maybe a, a couple months afterwards i've started building these um, miniature buildings out of dominoes and Legos and uh, I would stack uh, CD cases on top of each other and whatnot and then I would record with my camera I would I would build everything on a table I would record everything with my 
with my camera and I would start shaking the, the table um, stronger and stronger to see like what would happen to uh, these tiny miniature structures. And I feel like this is, that was definitely how I've spent most of my childhood. Um, I was very introvert and I thought that, oh, this is so cool. Like, you know, I get to spend six hours building something that requires meticulous work and um, a lot of, um, you know, patience. So I hope that was fun watching. Um, and just thinking about all the simulations I've created in the past two and a half years, like I really feel that the eight year old inside me right now is just so happy. Like if something bad would happen to me tomorrow, I'll be happy no matter what. Like that's how, that's how I feel about this thing. And before I end this video, I want to make sure that you get a better look at it. <laughs> and uh, really, really excited to see where this channel is gonna be in one year from now on, or two years, five years, <laughs> who knows. I know a lot of you have been affected by earthquakes uh, and the best thing you can do is to be proactive. You know, I, I'm really a, a firm believer that we as individuals, like if I get water supplies, if I get some food containers, if I make sure I have an emergency uh, plan with my family, this is what would really make a big change. So if you do that, I, I'm just really, really thankful, really thankful. Please stay safe.